my experience in a cheating relationship. This might be a little bit long, so I apologize for that. When I have stuff on my mind, it always helps me out when I write things down. I, 19M, had been dating my previous girlfriend, 18F, for almost a year before I broke up with her about two months ago. It wasn't the first time that I had felt cheated on and there were tons of red flags that I should have noticed. Throughout the whole relationship, I was manipulated into thinking that what she did wasn't a big deal and to this day I'm unsure if I was just overreacting or if I truly was justified in ending things. I just want to take the time and type this out. Maybe some of you can identify it, but mainly, I'm just doing this to get it all of my chest so that I can move on. I met this girl during the end of my senior year in high school. We had faintly known each other before, but I didn't know her that well. I asked her to prom and we went together. We started dating a couple weeks after. There were already some yellow flags at the time, but I didn't give them too much thought. First, I had found out that when we started talking, she had broken up with her last boyfriend just days before and was quite possibly looking for a rebound. Secondly, about a week after we had started officially dating, she was at a friend's open house and allegedly asked him if he wanted to go to a county fair alone with her to talk. I never know what really happened. She insists that she never invited him anywhere, while he insists that she did. Either way it was something that I should have looked into but I didn't want to be the jealous type so I ignored it. Over the summer we really began to fall in love. I had already forgetting the issues at the beginning. It was the standard honeymoon phase of the relationship. We'd always hang out and spend time together and everything was going great. But there was one incident that irked me a little bit. She was participating in the county fair and was there for much of the week, so I joined her and her family. There were other guys there too. She had told me for weeks that these guys all have crushes on her and want to be her boyfriend. She insisted that they were just friends, but would keep wandering over to them and talking to them. Sometimes she would just get up and leave to talk to them. It got on my nerves, but it really peaked on the last day of the fair in which she flirtatiously dumps water on one of the guys. She lets him dump water on her in return. They spend the next 30 minutes having a water fight. During the whole time I'm sitting with her family that I don't know at all. I was super upset that she was interacting so much with these guys that like her, all while leaving me to sit with strangers. She was mad that I was mad because they were just friends. We moved on, but in August she went back for her senior year of high school while I was in my first year of college. She'd talk constantly about these guys having crushes on her and all wanting to date her. We'll call one of these guys M. I tell her that I'm uncomfortable with how much she's talking to me about other guys, as well as texting them in her free time. I don't think that she should be messaging these strangers who have crushes on her when she has a boyfriend. I was vocal about it but she insisted that nothing was going to happen. November was the first time that I felt cheated on emotionally. During a day out with her, I noticed that she is sending hearts and kissy photos to M on Snapchat. His name in her contacts is Favorite Freshie, love I got pretty upset because I had already told her how uncomfortable it made me. This was the first time that I told her straight to her face that she needs to stop sending him the hearts and the kissy photos. She said that she would try to stop. I didn't even tell her to block him or anything. I foolishly trusted that she'd listen to me. About three weeks later, she is at my house and my nightmare happened. I went to check the time on her phone. When I did, I see a message from M saying I love you too. I was shocked. I tried to get her out of my house, but she refused to leave. I said that I told her to stop messaging him like that, and instead of it stopping, it just got worse. Her response was, well I said that I try to stop, not actually stop. I found out later that it had been going on for weeks. She mistakenly sent him one of those lovely Instagram reels. When she found out she sent it, she neither apologized or unsent the reel. She also refused to show me any screenshots of the conversation, further increasing my paranoia about the whole situation. I was so close to breaking up with her then, but despite all of the evidence, I was still in love with her. She promised me that she would change and that it would never be an issue again. 
Things weren't really the same after that and we spent the rest of December and January in a slump. During January, she made friends with a different guy, L. She introduced him by saying that he has had a crush on me since 8th grade and tried to kiss me once. I got upset about that, but she insisted that they were just friends. During this time things started to go a bit downhill. I was still in love with her and wanted desperately to believe that I was in a good relationship despite all of the red flags. She stopped taking time to hang out with me. She stopped saying that she loved me. She also stopped any sort of compliments and reassurance to me, despite the things that she had done a month ago and I started to develop some self-esteem issues because of it. But all the signs were there that something else was going on, but I was naive and lived with it anyway. I blindly trusted her when she said that everything was alright. It peaked in February. She had started to become closer and closer with Elle and had become less and less open with me. One day when I was with her, I noticed something. She had her phone out and was turned away from me with her screen brightness all the way turned down. I could tell that she was on Snapchat, but she had told me that she deleted Snapchat weeks ago. She was obviously trying to hide something from me. I'll be honest, I was paranoid. But nothing she said was adding up. I blew up and we had our biggest argument yet. We decided to stay together, but cut communication for a few days. I found out later that during these few days on our break, she had went out with Elle and they spent a day together. When I asked her a few weeks later what happened, she said I can't remember, probably just a hug or something. I still don't know what all happened that day but I'm well aware that there was more than a hug going on. But I wasn't aware of this at the time. We stayed together for a couple weeks after. During this time, I found again that she was engaging in conversations with another guy trying to flirt with her. I was about ready to break up with her for real when the final incident happened. I found out that once again, after everything had happened, after all the times that she said that she'd change, she was messaging Elle again saying that she would fuck him if she could. That screenshot did it for me. I broke up with her right there. She refused to show me any other screenshots in their conversations. It was after the breakup that I was finally able to see just how toxic and manipulative of a person she was. She started blaming me and said that she was going to break up with me anyways because I was controlling and getting upset at everything she did. She went on and told her family some sort of lie so that they all hate my guts. I have no idea what she said, but it was able to change her family from loving and accepting me, to wanting nothing to do with me overnight. She'd go on to say that I didn't care about how she was feeling and that she wanted the stuff back that she gave me. A few days later though, she started begging me to get back together with her. She said that she won't be happy for the rest of her life without me. My favorite line was when she told me to just forget about everything and just give her another chance. Ugh. Since then I've been able to move on in a lot of ways. I've finally realized that I was in a bad relationship. Since the breakup, I have lost 15 pounds and feel the best about myself that I ever have. I've been focusing on self-improvement and I've slowly been able to rebuild the confidence that I lost throughout our relationship. This sounds horrible, but I've seen that she's gained a lot of weight and has already been setting up a rebound with another dude. I'd be lying if I said it doesn't bring me some level of satisfaction to see her that way. But being able to get this whole story off of my chest makes me feel so much better. I've finally been able to gain the motivation to better myself and become the best person that I can be for someone who actually deserves it.